Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I'm going to give you guys my top 5 zombie maps. These are the zombie maps that I will inevitably always go back and play and will want to keep playing no matter what it is and I usually will do good the first time I play it. Now this is in no order because I could not give an order to zombie maps. I like them all so much that I cannot say this is number one, two, three, four, five. These are just my top five zombie maps and I'm sorry there's no video behind showing you the map. I'm on a little bit of a tight schedule. Go ahead and watch my video a few days ago getting followed at night and to find out why the first 30 seconds and you'll understand why. So let's get into this. So like I said, Number one does not mean my number one map. It's just a counting scale. So number one, Mob of the Dead. I really do like Mob of the Dead because of the acid trap strategy. It's just nothing feels as smooth and as time, like the timing on that map, especially once you get into like 60s or 70s, whenever you really get into that like nice spawn rhythm. The timing is unbelievable. Whenever you go from the kitchen to the outside, and then whenever you go to the outside back in, and you just know the timing, that as soon as you walk through the door, the trap is ready, nothing feels better than that in Zombies. So next up at number two, we have... Oh, this is a tough one, but I'm going to go with Ascension, okay? Ascension because it's always an easy map. The only thing I don't like about it are the monkeys, but then again, that's the only thing that makes it challenging, really. That map is super easy, and I love PhD Flopper. It's just, that's a fun map. Always, always down to play that map. Next up, we have Kino Der Toten. Now, Kino is one of those maps that whenever you talk about playing it, it doesn't sound too appealing, but whenever you get into it and you start doing the strategy, it's super fun. You know, I love the Thunder Gun. I love the Zeus Cannon. I, I like that map. That was the first map I ever got a high round on, round 60. And you, it's just, I love it. It's just a retro map. You gotta love that map. Who does not love Keen Odor Toten? So next up, we have Call of the Dead. Call of the Dead is amazing. I cannot say enough good things about Call of the Dead, although that is not a solo map at all. Not a solo map. You can't play it solo. I mean, you can, but it, it's a two-player. You play a two-player on that map, nothing feels better. That is That map is made to be played with two people. I absolutely adore that map, and it's just, ugh. Oh, it brings back so many great memories. Now, the last one is controversial. I If, if this was top six, although it wouldn't... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do an honorable mention. So, number five has to be Die Rise. I just... That map, the solo strategy on that map, up until round 100. After round 100, it sucks. Don't play the map. You quit on the 100. As soon as 100 comes around, you quit. You can't play that map past 100 anymore it's just so dumb i mean you can but it's not that fun after 100 and the honorable mention that would go in the top five but top six doesn't sound right is shangri-la shangri-la oh my god shangri-la i mean if i were to replace a map with shangri-la it would be kino for sure to make it fit into the top five so kino is probably the honorable mention shangri-la is definitely in the top five it's just it's another rhythm map that once you get that rhythm down with your teammate, with the baby gun, and you got Simtexes or Sallies or whatever you're using, it feels so good. I love these maps, and I really do like Black Ops 1. Now, Black Ops 3 did not get into my top 5, but definitely Der Isendrak would be in the top 10. That's a very fun map. I like the bows on it. They, they have a good thing going. Hopefully they can touch back to their roots on DLC 3. Please touch back to your roots on DLC 3. We don't want any of this big East. Well, Easter egg on Zetsubo was easy, but we don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking through my experience. So you guys, let me know what you guys think down below. Tell me your top five maps. Let me know what they are. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Aaron, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video.